it's okay, happy all the time. <laughs> so I want to thank you on behalf of Southeast Toyota. Uh, I want to welcome you here to the Coral Gables Resort. Very, very beautiful facility. Uh, my name is Brian Fermetta. I'm not here alone. I also have my colleagues Bob Duffin and Danny Velez. So we're all here to answer any questions you have. And we have a fun day for you. You've already enjoyed your lunch. Yes. And we also have cars in front. The Highlanders, the all-new Highlanders. I know that's the reason why you're here. Very excited to drive them. So we're definitely going to drive them as soon as I get done. Um, but let's dig in and let's go over what's new with this Highlander. Let me touch the heritage a little bit. Does anyone in this room know when the Highlander was introduced in the United States? What? <coughs> That's right. Hit it. Yeah. It was introduced until 2001. The 2014 introduces its third generation. And what you've seen, you've seen, we've gone a long way since then. Highlander now actually stands to be one of the top three selling SUVs in its segment. It's in the mid SUV segment, mid-size SUV segment. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of reasons why we're there. We market to the baby boomers. And we're going to continue marketing to baby boomers. They will, baby boomers are very loyal to Toyota. How are we marketing to a new segment? And that segment is the young families. Between the ages of 30 and 49. Who typically maybe have one or two children who are still in middle school or elementary. And we're also going to market heavily in the Hispanic community. So here in Miami, you will see. So who in here saw the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. Right? All right, yeah. Maybe it wasn't the most exciting game. Well, the commercials. We watch it for the commercials. So Toyota was very, very excited to team up with the Muppets. Did we all see that commercial? Great commercial. We we're very excited with the new Muppets movie coming out. I actually have a short little clip to show you. La totalmente nueva Highlander, Toyota, vayamos juntos. So I don't know about you, I never get tired of it. Right. I, I figured I'll show it in Spanish because we are in Miami. Right, I love Miami. Uh, Toyota has a great built-in America story. And we have over 10 plants here in the United States. And this Highlander is actually built 100% in the United States. I'm in Princeton, Indiana. Key story is the fact that it employs over 4,500 employees. So when we think about Toyota, sometimes we don't think about it maybe in a made America or American vehicle. This is definitely a true American vehicle. Let's dive into key features with this new Highlander. Grade changes. We used to have just the base Highlander grade. We've replaced that with an LE. We've taken the Highlander Plus and moved it to an LE Plus. A Highlander SE to an XLE. And also the Limited stays the same, but we offer a package within the Limited. It's called the Platinum Package, which we'll go into detail what that is. Performance, it's, a, it's the same 3.5 V6 engine. The key thing to take away here, guys, is the miles per gallon. It's gone up <laughs> one miles per gallon in the, in the city and the highway. Well, how we did that, you're probably wondering, it's actually the six-speed transmission. <laughs> so when you go out and drive this, don't be afraid to step on it. You'll notice that at the first gear at startup, you have that torque. You have lower, lower, higher gear ratios at that first gear. So it helps out with the acceleration, but most importantly, the fuel economy that people really look for in this midside SUV. We've, got, we've, got, we've nailed it down to four key selling points. And we've created a theme for it here in the Southeast, the theme of life. People are gonna buy this car for one of four reasons. It's luxurious styling, inspiring to interior, it's family friendliness, and also the enhanced safety, which is in Toyota's DNA. The exterior can be uh, described in two words, upgraded and sophisticated. The, the Highlander is actually longer and wider. It's longer by 2.75 inches and wider by a little over half an inch. So overall, the cargo capacity and the seating capacity has been elevated to be more capable, and I'll go over that. 
The exterior styling. When you look at the front grill, the front grill has a trapezoidal look to it. And you've seen it in some of our redesigns. Kind of came that unique Toyota look. So when you're driving on the road, people would know, hey, that's a Toyota now. The headlights, they actually wrap around more and have a more bold, aggressive look to it. Right? The exterior styling is one of the key things we've been doing a lot with Toyota now, with all the redesigns. The fog lamps are standard on the LE Plus and above. When you move up to the limited grade, you get LED lights here that are daytime running lights. The front bumper actually protrudes a little more forward, right? Again, bold, aggressive. The side view mirrors, they actually have integrated turn signals on all trim levels along with color key to the vehicle. Huge win. <coughs> Overall, when you look at this Highlander, things to think about, this word keyword is chisel, bold, aggressive. On the side view, it's a sleeker design, concave edges, right, and an aerodynamic look. Again, what we're trying to do is definitely create that emotion when someone sees a vehicle and say, hey, wow, create the wow effect, turn heads. Same thing when you look at the rear, the rear, the back of the vehicle. Notice how the C pillar, the window's actually been extended. So when you're inside the vehicle, it increases visibility and also gives that impression that there's actually more room in the car. Building on aerodynamics, all the Highlanders will have vortex generators, also known as aero fins. We use those two words interchangeably. So what that does is actually bring in air closer to the vehicle, controlling the air wave of the, vehicle, uh, of the air around the vehicle to increase straight line stability. But most importantly, the wind noise is reduced since we have the fins down here and back of the vehicle. So overall, we have one of the quietest cabins in this segment. Highlander's available in nine different colors. Five of them which are new. My personal favorite is Crab Boulet Mica. I don't know, some people judge me for that. <laughs> <laughs> interior, <laughs> well we've definitely focused a lot on the interior. Uh, one thing I want you to take away, some key words, it's functional and it's beautiful. So it's the functional beauty to the interior of the vehicle. And we've done a horizontal look to it to increase the overall ergonomics, right? It's more intuitive, easier to reach, easier to reach controls for both the passenger, for the driver and the passenger. The MID screen, multi-information display screen on the XLE and the Limited. It's more intuitive. Customers can actually see turn-by-turn -turn navigation. My personal favorite is the fact you have the compass on. So when you're driving this car, put it on the compass, because there's XLEs and limiters out there. And you notice if you're driving on Miracle Mile, it's gonna say, hey, you're going east, and it'll say Miracle Mile. So a nice touch, which you normally see that in your luxury vehicles, <coughs> but we brought it to Toyota. <coughs> now, this is another cool feature you gotta play around with. We have a convenient dash, underneath the dash, a shelving. So you can place your phone on there without being able to move, right? Because normally, right, when we're driving, we're ready to, to carry our phones. If you're like me, it's on my lap, right? Or inside the cup holder, right? Well, those days are out the window. You can just place it in the convenient inside dash, the dash shelving, and you can run the wires through a cable wire management system that runs in here so the wires are not just everywhere. Very, very convenient, easy to use. Which also leads me to the center console. I think a lot of thought was put into this. It's a roll top center console. So I know I have a lot of young ladies in here, right? With big purses? Right. So you can fit a big purse in there. Now, if you're like me, you can fit whatever else you want, right? A six pack of beer, don't quote me on it. Also, it's 24.5 liters. But if you're like me, I know nothing about the metric system. <laughs> It's about five gallons, a little more than five gallons of cargo capacity in there, storage capacity. It's, it's big, correct. It's big, right? It's big. Why get into all the minutia? <laughs> the ambient lighting, what you'll notice when you get into the limited and the limited platinums, you may not see it today because it's kind of bright, but if kind of you put your hand next to it, in the front doors, in the dash shelving, and in the back doors, you'll see a soft blue lighting throughout the vehicle which actually increases the whole, like, right, remember what I say it was functional and beautiful? So that's that functional beauty to the interior of the vehicle, right? Normally, again, seen in luxury lines, but we've brought it here to Toyota. 
Now, I said we were marketing to a new segment, young families. So we definitely have to focus that this vehicle is family friendly. One of the ways is actually it's a true eight passenger. Right? And you're wondering how we did it. The front seats, we've moved them forward a little bit. However, we've changed the seat type. Normally you're familiar with the traditional active headrest, but we have a wheel seat. And the wheel seat is actually a thinner seat. That wheel seat stands for whiplash injury lessening seat. So it's there to hopefully minimize those whiplash related injuries. But the story to tell behind the second, behind that, in that third, in that second row, it gives you an extra inch and a half of leg room. So we're able to have even more leg room in the third row. And we've increased the hip room by over three inches, 3.7 inches to be exact. That's one of the ways. However, we also changed the suspension in the rear. We've gone from a traditional McPherson strut suspension to a double wishbone suspension, which allows that strut tower not to go up so high, giving us more ample space and more hip, more hip room. Because before, customers didn't even know there was really, well, they knew there was a third row, but they weren't using it because it wasn't functional. But now, please, please sit in the third row and it's a lot more functional. You can actually fit three people back there, average size like me. Let me give me. Now you're wondering how I have eight people in the car, I'm driving my Highlander, I'm a mother of three, and I have to yell, right? Normally, you'll turn your head so they can hear you. But we have this new feature called driver easy speak. So what it's doing on the XLE and limited trim levels, it projects your voice to the Bluetooth mic, and you can hear it all the way in the third row to the second row. So it's all for safety and huh? You got PA, yeah? Well, it's only one way, though. So it only works for the driver, right? <laughs> one way. So, <laughs> While you're driving with me, we can test it out. Fair enough? <laughs> we did not sacrifice in car row capacity. Yes, we want to fit as many people in there as possible, right? Because some people don't want to buy a minivan, so they want to go with the mid-size SUV. So, but the key thing is cargo capacity. We've increased the cargo capacity behind the third row by 34%. This is a huge win. To make it practical, I'm, here, I'm driving one right now. I can fit two carry-on luggages in the back with no problem. I can fit a couple of, of um, um, golf bags right, for my golfers here. Rear lift gate on the LE Plus and above, it's actually power and adjustable. So if you live in a, situ in, in, a, in, a, in a community where the garage sits kind of low, you can adjust the height of when it opens and it's powered. And it also comes with a rear hatch, the glass door opens up. So there's no need to open up the hatch, you can just take in articles in and out out of the glass hatch. You don't have to open up the whole door. Now, versatility is a key thing here with these vehicles. So a lot of people think, oh, can I really tow? Well, as you see up there, absolutely. The XLE and the Limited tows up to 5,000 pounds. The reason why the only in the XLE and the Limited is because it has a tow prep package. The LE and the LE Plus tows 2,000 pounds, and even the available four-cylinder can tow 1,500 pounds. Now, Toyota's DNA is definitely safety. A lot of our customers buy Toyotas because we're safe. So we take a lot of pride that we're the first auto manufacturer to offer what we call the star safety system, which is six safety technologies that work together to help actively to help you avoid an accident. A couple of those are vehicle stability control, traction control, ABS. So this is standard in all of our Toyota vehicles and we're very proud of that. Key thing to take away from here, there were structural changes done to the vehicle, both in the A pillar and the B pillar with high intensive steel. But here's the key thing here, is that we're the first vehicle in this segment to achieve the top safety pick plus rating from the IIHS. So other manufacturers haven't done this test yet, we did it first. So we're the first vehicle to earn this rating. Backup camera is standard in all of them. And yes, that is a safety feature. But what I like to say, it's more of an added value to, my, to the guests, the cons consumer that comes in the door. The fact that a lot of our competition doesn't offer it standard in all the trim levels. We give you backup cameras standard in all trim levels. 
Coupled with that, you got the limited grade, you have parking sonar sensors in the rear as well. Blind spot monitoring system with the rear cross traffic alert, standard on the limited trim levels. Also, there is a technology package with all this new technology. On the, on the limited, we can get a technology package. That technology package gives me Safety Connect, which is like a collision warning system, pre-collision system with dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with automatic high beams. Okay, pre-collision system works in the event. It uses the Toyota emblem. You know that if we have a platinum out there, the Toyota emblem will be flushed. So it uses a radar sensor from here to detect the speed of your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you. So if, it, if the vehicle seems an accident is imminent, it will help me lessen the impact by a couple ways, retracting my seatbelt and by kicking in the brake assist and also with an audible warning inside the cabin. So hopefully by then you'll stop texting and driving, right? <laughs> so, lane departure alert with, with automatic high beams. This is a very cool feature. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think I already told most of you guys here. So I have a lot of dark roads. So late at night, this this sensor that it has in front of the windshield would detect that, hey, I'm in a dark road, and it'll turn on my high beams automatically. So hopefully I'll be able to see that deer before it comes out on the road. I get back to an illuminated area, headlights are back to normal. The lane departure alert coupled with the same sensor will actually read the lines on the, on the, on the highway or on the road, and if I start unintendedly veering off, it's going to beep at me. And also show me a visual warning on the MID screen. So nice safety feature there. Eight airbags, another thing we don't sacrifice on, standard eight airbags on all Toyota Highlanders. <coughs> this is what I'm very excited on, the hybrid. Hybrid trim levels cha changes. Hybrid's now available on one trim level, the limited, or the limited with the, tr with, the pa with the platinum package. Please drive one. I'm very excited that we have one here today. This car is one of the fastest vehicles on, in our lineup. You may think hybrid, or you think slow, you think, oh, not capable, drive this vehicle. With the 200 net horsepower coming from the 3.5 V6 engine and those three electric motors, you get instant torque. Guys, you will be turning <coughs> tires outside, right off the line. So I definitely, I encourage everyone to drive the, the Highlander, 100%. <coughs> now, I'm gonna turn it over to my good friend, Danny. He's gonna go over some constant vehicles and we're gonna wrap it up. Cool? Thank Thanks. You. Thank you. are a key part of what Toyota does and I'm sure many of you being in the automotive industry are reporting on these vehicles you've seen incredible concept throughout the year not just from Toyota but also other OEMs and in fact recently we introduced an amazing concept that's gotten a lot of press and a lot of buzz throughout the industry but before we talk about what's coming I want to just reminisce for a moment and talk a little bit about what's occurred throughout the last couple decades if you think about it a little more than 15 years ago Toyota introduced the hybrid as a concept vehicle, something that a lot of people in, in the industry didn't think was going to be sustainable, and yet Toyota had the vision to say that hybrid technology is not only efficient, but it's here to say. And you know, 15 years later, we have the Prius, which is widely recognized as the world's leader in hybrid. In fact, it's the best-selling hybrid in the world. There's no other hybrid that sells more than the Prius. So, you know, Highlander at one point was, of course, a concept, and you can see behind me a couple of the examples that we've shown recently throughout some of the different shows around the country. But concepts just represent a small portion of the huge investment that Toyota makes in terms of research and development. You can see here we spend nearly $8.5 billion in continuously, in continuously researching new methods of making these vehicles better and more efficient, and, of course, in developing newer and fresher products and one of those is of course the SCV that we debuted this year and we'll be launching next year as a 2015 model it's a it's just the hybrid to the next level in terms of alternative fuel sources it's incredible and we look forward to seeing it here in our region hopefully uh, around this time next year if not a little bit later than that and then the FT1 wow what an incredible vehicle when I saw this for the first time I was really excited now, sadly, I have to tell you, if we do end up producing this, it probably won't be in creme brulee. I'm really sorry to tell you. <laughs> but I can tell you that I'm really pumped up about this car. Again, when I look at the, some of the vehicles that Toyota makes, 